Hello everyone. In this video, new beam rebar patterns that was newly developed in Protostructure 2022 will be explained. In line with the feedback and localization needs of our users, we have developed a new and flexible beam rebar pattern system for you in our 2022 version. We believe that you will be able to benefit greatly from the substantial advantages of it. Thanks to this new rebar system, different special reinforcement systems can be quickly adapted to your model. You can first access this setting from Options, Beam, Rebar Patterns menu. If I were to introduce this setting interface to you one by one, the reinforcement pattern that you will use can be determined separately for each beam types. You can easily select the beam type from the beam type list at the bottom of the setting window. Beam pattern adjustments can be made for floor, rib and foundation beams independently of each other. Then, a dynamic live drawing exhibits the selected options on the user interface for easy review. This review can be adjusted for up to three spans. We offer here 16 different types of reinforcement systems, including bent-up patterns, standard patterns, and multi-layered patterns. In order to better understand the selected reinforcement system, sample reinforcement patterns are visualized separately under the sample drawing title. Depending on the selected reinforcement system, the reinforcement types added to the reinforcement system will change. For example, in the selection of Bent Up Pattern 1, the number of nine different types of reinforcement is visible in the detail drawing, while when the Bent Up Pattern 2 reinforcement system is selected, the second layer of the top and bottom bar reinforcements will also be added to the detail drawing. Standard patterns and multi-layered patterns will provide great convenience especially for our users who design according to different specifications or codes. The labels and types of the rebars you see under the heading of rebar types in this section are fixed and cannot be edited. Reinforcement types form the main backbone of the system and there are types such as hanger bar, top bar, support top bar, bent up bar, bottom bar, support bottom bar, web bar and so forth. For example, click on one of the reinforcement types here. Detailed settings for the selected type will be displayed in the curtailment options properties list on the right. First, the label of the selected reinforcement is indicated. Then the type of reinforcement will be displayed. The default rebar layer controls the layer where a specific rebar type is placed initially. The curtailment algorithm will put the rebars on the same layer starting from the top if given the same layer. If the algorithm fails to place all bars in the first row, it puts the top bar with extend left to short or extend right to short options on the second row. If default rebar row is set to, this rebar is placed directly on the second row. Protostructure provides up to three default rows. However, this does not mean that number of rows is limited. These are just default rows, the algorithm decides the actual row. It means if you have a deep beam with a narrow width, you can even have six rows of top bars, although you only have one layer of the top bar. By specifying how the reinforcement type will be extended to the right and left by default, you can change the reinforcement layout according to your request. In the Pattern Summary section, the reinforcement pattern used, the number of rebar types, the number of top and bottom layers used are shown. Finally, the set pattern as default button should be clicked in order to save the selected rebar pattern and its settings. In this way, the settings will be saved. 
The control of the defined rebar system selected for the model can also be controlled from the default rebar pattern in the lower right part of the interface. After all the settings are done, the rebar pattern settings can be closed by using the OK button. Now let's see how these settings are reflected in the beam design interface. To perform reinforced concrete beam reinforcement, select the Story Beams menu on the Design tab. Since we also made the beam reinforcement design during the building analysis, the reinforcements of all beam axes were calculated and indicated with a green tick in the list. If they are not designed, you can use the Beam Design Batch Mode option from the toolbar to automatically make the reinforcement selections for all beam axes. After the beam design is done, you can examine the designs of the beam axes in detail with the interactive beam design and arrange the rebars according to your wishes. To do this, double-click the first beam axle from the list and click the Rebars tab. This section basically consists of two parts that are Toolbar Section and Reinforcement Data Editor. The default rebar pattern can be changed using the Toolbar Select Bars tab. In this example, Bent up one rebar pattern that we have previously set will be selected as the default reinforcement pattern. If a change is made here, the reinforcement arrangement will be revised according to the selected reinforcement pattern. Since the detailed explanation of the other menus in the toolbar were explained in the beam design video, we will not mention it here. Since there can now theoretically be unlimited reinforcement layers in protostructure, there was a need to reorganize the beam design interface for this purpose. In order for the reinforcement layers to expand downwards easily, the section where the reinforcement data entry is made has been moved down. Minimum rebar area and spacing areas have been moved up. If we examine this section quickly, it basically consists of four parts and briefly has the following functions. In the section where the schematic drawing of the beam is shown, the beam labels, section dimensions, span lengths are shown. Six required reinforcement areas are calculated as the top, bottom, and span of each beam. Required reinforcement areas are obtained by forming envelope diagrams of all loading combinations. Second part, in the section where the excess reinforcement area is shown, the extra reinforcement area values are shown in the section. Then the other part is the feedback field. The reinforcements provided are compared with the minimum reinforcement areas determined by the selected codes. Values below the limit are reported to the user in red. Whether the reinforcement fits into the cross-section or not is among the information indicated. Last part is the section where the reinforcement data entry is made will be determined according to the selected rebar pattern. In the interactive beam rebar editor, the rebars are classified as hanger bar, top bar, support top bar, bent up bars, bottom bar, support bottom bar, web bar and links according to their positions in the section. These rebars types are determined according to the reinforcement pattern determined in the upper left corner of the beam design editor. If you want to change the rebar pattern used in all beams in the model, you can turn back to the setting center and select the new rebar pattern that you want to use. For example, in this model, let's choose the standard pattern 2 as is beam pattern. After selecting it, save your settings by click on the set pattern as default command. Then, let's go back to the beam design interface. When you make new beam design as a batch mode, 
The program warns you that the default rebar pattern has changed and whether you want to apply this rebar pattern to all beams. If you select the Yes option, the determined rebar pattern will be used in all your beams for the design. Even though default rebar layout is set here, each rebar layer, number, diameter can still be changed manually by clicking the rebars on the drawing. That means you can arrange the reinforcement layouts according to your wishes. If any changes are made here, a recalculation of the adequacy of the selected reinforcements will be done dynamically and all relevant fields will be updated. In this video, it is explained how to choose different beam rebar patterns and how to apply them to the beam design. We will continue our detailed explanations about this subject in our other videos. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notified of new videos.